Hey everybody, Zach here at eTrailer.com. Today we're taking a look at the Swagman XC2 bike rack on our 2018 Ford Edge. This is going to be a two-bike hitch-mounted bike rack. It's going to be a frame-mounted style bike carrier. So what that means is we're going to have frame contact up here. And this is going to be a ratcheting hook that gives us some good contact. You can see, just ratchet that down. And we've got a nice solid rack there. Now there's a little bit of movement um, within the rack and that's really just because this is kind of a lightweight, more economical bike rack. So it's not going to be big and burly, it's not going to be super sturdy, but by no means are we going to have any issues with our bike coming off of here. So you can see it sits down in these wheel cradles right here. These wheel cradles are adjustable, so we can move these around by loosening these knobs. You can see there's little tightness right there but then we can move those around that's going to give us a max wheelbase of 52 inches so that's a really wide wheelbase that's going to fit most bikes that are out there uh, when it comes to the width of our tires that we can have in here it's going to be two and a half inches so that's pretty wide so if you've got some big burly mountain bike tires probably not going to be the best bike rack for you um, it's going to have a max uh, weight capacity of 35 pounds so you know, a road bike like this one is going to be perfect. Even most mountain bikes, you know, e-bikes are going to get up over that. So that's probably something you might want to look for. Something that has a little bit better uh, weight capacity. But this is going to do a really good job of carrying most bikes, getting you and a friend or a spouse to the trailhead. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this bike off. You can see how we release these hooks right here. You just squeeze that. Comes up. And there's a little spot there where you could probably put a padlock through there. That's one of the downsides to this bike rack is it doesn't have any locking features. So I'm going to get this off here. Be careful there. Set that aside. And we'll get those pushed back down. Now, the foam on here is pretty thick. Um, it's kind of got a hard rubber feel to it. So it's not going to scratch your frame, but it may scuff it, but nothing too major. And then I'm going to also lower this down so we can get into the hatch. Now this bike rack doesn't tilt away with the bikes loaded. Um, kind of a downside to it. I find myself needing to get in the back of my hatch all the time with my bike loaded. I always leave my helmet on, forget to do it. So then I am able to tilt that away to get it back in. But with this one, we have to do it with the bikes off. So. One thing to keep in mind, um, and if we get this back up, I'll show you a different configuration here in a minute, but first I want to give you some measurements to make sure that this is going to work out well for you and your Ford Edge. So it doesn't take up a lot of space on the back of it. Everything kind of sits kind of tight. Some people may like that, some may not. So from the back of our bumper here, to the outermost part of this cradle, I'm at about 18 and a half inches. So not a ton of space on the back there. And then the closest point, I'm gonna go to this cradle right here. It's at about five and three quarters of an inch. So decent amount of space there. Uh, when the bike was on there, those handlebars on that road bike were fairly wide. Uh, plenty of space there, even if you had really wide mountain bike handlebars on there, I think you're still gonna be fine. Um, another measurement to give you, you can see here, because the edge does kind of sit close to the ground here, we don't have a ton of ground clearance with this hitch. Um, we do get a nice rise here in the back, so that's something that when you're getting into steep driveways, you might want to consider. And that's at about 14 and a half inches, so that's, that's pretty decent. We're getting up off the ground pretty good there. Um, I'll show you that other quick configuration. And this is what I find I like most about this bike rack is how simple it is. You can see we just pull these pins out there and they've got a little ball detent there to keep those in place. But how compact it gets. So whether you're leaving this on throughout the week, you're only riding a couple times a week, and you just want to leave this on, it doesn't take up a ton of space. It will kind of obstruct the view on your backup camera, but it's not a lot of bike rack on the back of it. So. Especially when you're taking this off, it's nice and compact. You know, when you have a big platform style rack, you got to have somewhere to store it when it's not on your hitch. So 
this is tight enough. You can put it in the corner of your garage, throw it up on a shelf. It's not going to take up a ton of space. If we take a closer look down here, how it's attached to the hitch, we have this on a two inch hitch. So this is going to work with two inch hitches or inch and a quarter. So if you've got an inch and a quarter hitch in the family or you want to lend it out to a friend. And then we have this pin right here, which is going to be an anti-rattle bolt. So it's tightened down with a three quarter inch socket or 19 millimeters. So you're going to have to have a tool to get that tightened and untightened. But you can see there, I'm shaking the whole car. So a little bit of play up here. Um, but as for the rack being connected to the vehicle, it's a nice solid connection. Overall, I think the bike rack is a nice, simple bike rack. It's going to get your bikes there just fine. If you're looking for some of those other nicer features like locks or if you want it to tilt away when the bike's on there, this is something you're going to probably use a few times a week. I would maybe consider getting something uh, like the Yakima uh, four-timer or two-timer, excuse me. That'd be a really good bike rack to consider as well, but I still think that this is going to be a really nice bike rack for you. That's going to do it for a look at the Swagman XC2 bike rack on our 2018 Ford Edge. This is our test course. Let's start with the slalom. This shows side-to-side -side action, such as turning corners or evasive maneuvering. Then, onto our alternating speed bumps. This shows twisting action, such as hitting curbs, potholes, road debris, or even uneven pavement. Last of all, the solid speed bumps. This shows up and down action, such as driving through a parking lot or parking garage, or driving in and out of a driveway. 